In this video, I'm going to talk about the history of soft contact lenses, which are worn by millions of people across the world, including myself. Otto Wichtele was the Czech chemist who was the first to develop soft contact lenses. He and his colleague Lim discovered hydrogels. So these are polymer materials that can be viewed within the body. And even though he developed these soft contact lenses, in every single picture you will see him in his favorite pair of glasses. We all know that water affects our vision. So it is said that the first idea of contact lenses came from Da Vinci's in the 1500s. However, it wasn't until the 1800s that the English astronomer Herschel proposed the idea to have a mould for the eyes. The first glass contact lenses then came in the, in the market in the 1880s, but as you can imagine, these were quite heavy and very uncomfortable. The first polymer contact lenses were made out of polymethyl methacrylate, which made them a lot lighter, but unfortunately doesn't allow oxygen to pass through. So when Wichteler proposed uh, the idea of having a hydrogel in the 1960s, this was meant a revolution in the field. A hydrogel is a 3D network of hydrophilic, so water-loving polymers. And what's special about these polymers is that they can absorb a lot of water while maintaining their physical and chemical properties. And that makes a very flexible material, which is very similar to natural tissue. The best known example of a hydrogel? Well, think of something where a gram of the material can absorb up to 30 grams of urine. So yes, you're right. Nappies are by far the most common hydrogels that you probably know. But hydrogels are also used in tissue engineering and wound healing and for many other applications. And here you can see what happens when you try and press a hydrogel. Because of its smaller nature and the high water content, it behaves just like natural tissue. So you can imagine this is similar to collagen and to gelatin. The story was that Lim was working on, on various polymers and he had to do like a long procedure in order to work out these polymers. And it happened to be that one day he was in a rush to go to the train station. So what he did, he poured in some water, he rushed to go to the train and he was going to finish the reaction tomorrow. Now what he found out by the time he came back in the morning, these materials had actually swollen quite a lot in water. So that's why he observed that these polymers were very good at swelling in water. Wichter found from more than 180 patents showing the applied nature of his work. And if you think about how he made the first soft contact lenses, it can't have been any more simpler than that. So his kitchen table experiment literally involved a set of toys, mercury toys, and combining that with a dynamo. So what you do, uh, he used what they call a spin casting process. You put something in a mold and then you uh, use centrifugal force in order to produce them in the right shape. In the space of a couple of months, he and his wife managed to produce over 5,000 contact lenses, just using this simple kitchen-based setup. I hope you enjoyed this video about the history of soft contact lenses. Do you want to know more about, about how polymer chemistry revolutionized our world? Well, you can have a look at the next video.